We bout to play 2K Brutal Sim, step back J Kobe got that clutch, throw it up That's game, I'm going through the lane Russell Westbrook quickness Now before we get to the video Make sure and hit this notification bell So you'll be one of the first on this scene Wicked and mean to receive a message Whenever your boy actually uploads the video man So you already know man Shout out to the notification crew Y'all stay supporting your boy Much respect Now let's get to the video what up what up it's your boy you don't know brutal sim on the scene wicked and me with a next video for y'all man i i won't give y'all quick brutal talks man i ain't gonna front i gotta get back to doing this man a lot of people like these man but i've been so busy keeping y'all up to date lately i ain't gonna front as soon as i turn around new more news i gotta put it up all right i gotta keep y'all up to date it's a full-time job <laughs> okay even although i got a full-time job we all have no idea how hard it is to get those videos up but um let's get to what this topic of the day man are y'all are some people too sensitive man like i really gotta ask this bruh like are some people just too sensitive over the internet over youtube like all right let, let me start about it. I did a video a few days ago, man. When they dropped Steph Curry's overall rating and Kevin Durant overall ratings. And I was like, what the what? Based on looking at Kyrie Irving's overall rating, I was basically saying, yo, come on, man. There's not the gap isn't that big between Steph Curry and Kyrie. Why is, Ky why is Kyrie this low and Steph Curry that high? That was my argument. A lot of people was hearing in their ears, Oh, Kyrie is better than Steph Curry. I never said that. And in the entire video, I never said that. I was saying, why is Kyrie so low? Why is Steph Curry is that high? I will never ever say Kyrie is better than Steph Curry. Hell nah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Steph Curry is a two-time MVP. He averaged close to a triple double in the final. Close to. Close to. Come on, man. But I don't think Kyrie is that far from Steph Curry. I'm sorry. If, if they gave Kyrie like a 92, I'd be like, alright, cool. Alright, man. Because, yeah, alright. But come on, man. And so many people was like, oh, bro, no, Steph, I, I was not saying that, man. I'm not even going to get into that argument. I deal with facts, man. I, I'm not, there, there's stuff like, stop, man. Like, people are so sensitive. Oh, people like, oh, I'm going to subscribe. Oh, bro, why are you hating on Steph? I was not hating at all, at all. And the next video I drop on my other channel, y'all can check it out. The link is going to be in the description. I was like, this is why LeBron is better than Kobe Bryant. And here are the facts. The f one of the first comments was, Brute, I, I'm gonna unsubscribe, man. You, you talking bad about the member. <laughs> you, I can't unsubscribe. Like, really? Because I give my opinion? I'm one of the few YouTubers. One of the few that read all the comments, that make sure and reply to 99% of the comments. The only comments I won't reply to is if someone put an open-ended um, statement or something that I see already has a conversation rolling. I'll be like, you know what? I don't have to reply to that. But I'm one of the few that make sure because I got a little OCD, man. I got to, I got to like complete everything, right? So to me, replying to all the comments is a form of being um completing something on my channel like if i upload a video i want feedback i gotta give you feedback on your feedback right so that's something that i i got i don't know if i keep growing how long i'm gonna be able to do it but i'm gonna do it for as long as possible right i'm one of the few that gonna put my opinion out there then don't mind if someone come with a rebuttal right and i'm gonna get on and I'm going like I like I enjoy the back and forth the conversations man I do man I, you could ask anyone that knows me in real life I love to debate 
I make strong statements that might not always be right, but I love to debate. Right? If anyone that plays with me on Xbox, PS4 understands that, that I always debate. And at the end of the day, it's just that, a debate. But people, if you don't say exactly what they agree with, get so sensitive, I'm like, I don't understand why people are so sensitive today, man. I just don't. I just don't. Like, I made that LeBron and Kobe video, right? In the beginning, in the beginning of the video, I made sure and say, yo, I don't, dis I don't think this is a discussion to be quite honest because I, to me, the conversation is makes no sense because kobe and lebron never really got to meet up in the finals so they never really got to play against each other to that because when lebron got there kobe was way past his prime to be honest and lebron wasn't even within his prime yet right to be quite honest so you never get an equal matchup of who's the best so everyone's gonna be talking from their feelings oh i feel kobe is better or oh, i feel lebron is better because lebron makes his teammate better or oh, i feel kobe is better because he's more clutch but the most we got to look at is the statistics right so i made a video talking about all right statistically lebron is better okay that, that was my main video that's it that's it this person came to oh you can't gonna be talking shit about the mambo like that but i started off saying all these players are the best ever in their error i'm talking about from bill russell um to magic and bird had a legal rivalry but magic won because he won the most during that era then i came back to jordan mj all right mj was the best in his era then kobe in his era then now um lebron james in his era and i did say that kd got a chance to replace lebron to right now because lebron is at the tail end of his era right that, that was that was my argument but this person was so sensitive oh i'm gonna unsubscribe you're gonna lose subscribers over this i'm like did you even watch the video you just watch the, the, the come on bruh like are you gonna rather me be 100 100 then come back because I, as i said i'm one of the few youtubers that is gonna watch what you i like all right cool i like that response once it's not disrespectful once you got too much swear words or you too offensive or rude i just don't con condone that because that's not how i re react or um that's not how i talk to my subscribers I always i did a video way back then how i respect my subscribers so i don't like people talking to them that way i don't talk to subscribers like that and i just asked for the same respect right so once i see all right that comment all right good argument let me come in right here and and do that rebuttal because that's what i do i like the back and forth <laughs> that's just me but people get so offensive when you don't put out an opinion that's aligned with their beliefs i'm still amazed at that i'm to me not that serious to be quite honest because all this back and forth don't really affect our lives it's just fun it's just fun it gives you a little bit of enjoyment at the moment in time i don't get upset when someone gives a different opinion i ain't gonna front i i watch first take i see Stephen a do give a bunch of things that i don't agree with i'm not gonna stop watch first take i'm sorry <laughs> i just don't i don't see it but let me know what y'all think man let me know what y'all think in the comments how people do sensitive or should I be more politically correct? All right, which means I'm gonna say what I think most people gonna wanna hear. I could do that. I can't. Okay. I just that's just not how I build. But I can't. If I see this is what people are too sensitive, I'm just gonna stop putting out my opinions, my strong opinions out there. All right, because I don't wanna offend people. And see, my a lot of people are offended whenever I put out strong opinions right because a lot of people don't even watch the full video they make by the first few minutes ah uh -uh, hell no nah, you hating like watch the full video man i right? usually i'm fair usually i'm fair and if if i'm gonna be biased i always start by saying yo i'm a die hard um let's say lebron fan all right i'm a die hard so i'm gonna be a little biased so man, you already know i'm not taking that serious man so you already know your boy sim i gotta be 100 with y'all man if you're first time to my channel like the video share the video hit your boy subscribe 
If it's not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna enjoy it, man. Your boy Sim, one love, respect. Bless.